What's up guys and welcome back to another video. So in today's video guys, we're gonna be taking a look of course at the Bitcoin price, but we are also gonna be taking a look at how potentially Bitcoin could be reaching $20,000. Yes, we're gonna be taking a look at an article about Bloomberg covering that and my thoughts exactly on if Bitcoin could reach this $20,000 mark in the next few months or this year in general. Um, that article, we're gonna be taking a look at 20,000 and they also say, up to 28,000 as well, which is absolutely crazy. We are also gonna be taking a look at why Grayscale um, is actually buying so much Bitcoin. They currently hold over a billion dollars in Bitcoin um, assets under management, which is absolutely insane. And they are extremely bullish on Bitcoin. And I'm gonna be telling you why you should be bullish as well. So all that good stuff coming up in today's video, guys, as well as some Bitcoin price analysis. So as always, sit back, relax, and get ready for the video. All right, guys, welcome back for another video. Thank you for joining me again. If we can hit a thousand likes, that would be great. And if you are watching the videos and you haven't subscribed, subscribe and tick that notification bell so you get notified about my latest videos. And as always, guys, drop your comments down below right now if you want to enter to win the Ledger Nano X storage device. Without any further ado, guys, let's jump into the video. Before I do get into today's video, I did want to talk about something. YouTube has actually been censoring and kind of shadow banning my videos, so they're not reaching as many people uh, as possible as I want. And I've actually started a Telegram group, guys, where you can go ahead and click the link down below in the description if you want to join and talk to like-minded crypto people. It's a live chat place, so you can talk to other people about crypto. So I'd really love it if you guys could join there so we can all stay connected, even though if, even if my videos aren't, being pushed to as many of you as possible by YouTube. So the link for that will be down below. So let's go ahead and take a look at Bitcoin first on the four hour chart, guys. So we can see here most of us um, pretty much assumed we're in this symmetrical triangle here and um, finding support and resistance. However, we did break out of this and we thought we were going to be very, very bullish and going above this 10.5K. Unfortunately, we couldn't quite make it above this 10.5K. We did have this big Bitcoin dump pretty much um, and down to all the way down to $9,140. We have since corrected there and broken out of this uh, symmetrical triangle again. However, we have now dumped back into it, unfortunately. Um, one thing I really need us to keep in mind is this 10K level is very, very important and we do actually need to cross it. If we can cross that 10K level and close above it for multiple, multiple days in a row, that should be really bullish and we should see a push up to that 10.5K. I do want to, however, go ahead and quickly take a look at the daily chart though, as the daily chart does open it uh, up a little bit more so we can see here that we actually bounce from this about 8.6 K level here and we bounce all the way up to about 10.5 K that was rejected and we did get pushed back down to that 8 point uh, that 9.1 K level sorry and we do current we are currently looking like we're back into this symmetrical triangle which it's not all doom and gloom guys um, we pretty much after this pump we pretty much came back to where we started however I did want to take a look at the weekly chart though as something is very very interesting when looking at this when looking at the weekly chart, guys, it, we can see that once we pass this 10.5k level, which I don't, uh, which I do believe we will pass in the next few weeks, or minimum time, uh, maximum time, about a month. Um, so I do think we really will pass this 10.5k level. The next level we need to look out for is this 11.5k level. Once we break this 11.5k level. Um, I'm not going to say it's a clear run up to 20k, but definitely there is not actually that much resistance up here. Um, above this kind of 11.5k level, we don't really have too much data to go by. Yes, we have this right here and we have this pump back in last summer. However, we weren't really at these levels for very long and we didn't really find too much stability there at all. It was just a quick pump and then a correction uh, a few weeks later. Same here, we had a pump and then we had a correction. So if we can break above this 11.5K level right here, first of all, break the 10.5K level and then break the 11.5K level, Honestly, we have a pretty clear run up to about 20K. Now this is of course, very, very bullish terminology and very, a very bullish way of looking at it. However, I do think if we can break this 11.5K level, um, the, the article that Bloomberg talk about, about this 20,000 high this year, potentially um, up to 28,000 they talk about, um, that could actually be fairly true and it could be fairly possible. If we take a look at where we are right now, for us to reach 20,000, 
it's about 100% gain, give or take, 110% gain. You may think that's absolutely crazy, but it, you can see altcoins over the past few months that have done way more than 100%. Um, so it's definitely possible. Will it happen? That's another thing we need to talk about, probably in another video. However, I do think it's likely we'll test this 10.5K level anytime in the next week or so and i really hope we can close above it and not just wick up to it and then wick back down that would be really really nice so uh, uh, if you were interested in trading any of these levels guys pretty much the number one place where i trade is femex and link down below specifically if you use my link to join femex you'll actually get a 112 dollar bonus for only a 0.2 bitcoin deposit Femex is a really nice platform to trade on. It's very clean and easy to understand. They have more than enough volume for you guys to be trading on, even if you are a small whale. And you can actually also have sub accounts where you can go long on one account or you can go short on the other account. So it's a very useful platform. And using my link down below, you'll get that $112 bonus for a 0.2 Bitcoin deposit. And if you were thinking, okay, I'd love to leverage Trade Jack, but I don't really know too much about it, then definitely check out the Bitcoin Blueprint, which is linked down below. And I have a Bitcoin Blueprint leverage course course and a live chat here if you wanted to reach out to me or someone from the team and we can help assist you with that so let's first of all take a look at the, this um, article here from coindesk it's talking about the uh, bloomberg bitcoin will approach record high of about twenty thousand dollars this year bloomberg says all signs point to bitcoin going on a major bull run in 2020 the only question is whether it will break the all-time high of twenty thousand the latest report from bloomberg reveals that the company expects bitcoin to um, retest the record highs from 2017 and may even go as high as $28,000. That would be absolutely amazing, guys. Before we get any further on in this video, let me know down below in the comments. I will also enter you to in that Ledger Nano X storage device. What would you do if Bitcoin went above 20K? Would you start cashing some out? Would you wait for 100K? Let me know what you do down below. Most likely, I would probably cash out a small amount just to be safe and have some fear on guard just in case it does dump. Um, but yeah, I would love to know your thoughts down below, guys. The report suggests that COVID-19 um, has accelerated Bitcoin's mat maturation as an asset, showing its strength amid declining equities. In addition, its point, uh, it points to the ever-increasing appetite from institutional investor investors and Grayscale. Uh, we'll be taking a look at Grayscale later in today's video, um, in particular, who has been con consuming about 25% of the new supply. So far this year, it's uh, increasing assets under management assets under management has consumed about 25% of the new Bitcoin mined coins versus less than 10% in 2019. So we've had a 15% increase uh, from last year. Our graphic uh, depicts the rapidly rising 30 day average of uh, the assets under management from Grayscale near 340,000 in Bitcoin equivalents, about 2% of the total supply. About two years ago, it counted for 1%. So they've now doubled their the amount of Bitcoin they have, uh, which is absolutely crazy. And if we could, uh, go down here, at least more points from the Bloomberg article, um, the steadily declining premium in uh, GBTC, despite strong inflows, ind indicates supply being taken off the market or maturation. On a 30-day average basis, the trust's 20% premium over is underlying net asset value compares with the historical mean of 39%. So this is actually a really, really interesting article, and I definitely think you guys should be going and checking it out or checking out the Bloomberg article, uh, the Bloomberg uh, article itself. The report says that something needs to go really wrong for Bitcoin not to increase in value. And then it states that, that it will approach a 2017 high of 20,000 and may even reach new highs of 28,000. Last year, the high was about $14,000, um, which we know was in summer of last year, 2019, which would then translate to almost double in 2020 if rotating within the, the recent band and mean little in the big picture. So yeah, as I said earlier in the video, this 14K high from last summer, which is around about here, I believe it's just below 14K, like 13.8, depending on which chart you're looking at really. Um, this is gonna be a mere drop in the ocean compared to potentially what could happen with the Bitcoin price coming up. And that excites me beyond belief, guys. And I hope it excites you as well. According to the report, um, another major reason for the um, appreciation in Bitcoin is the rapid growth of USDT. Last May, its market cap stood at $4 billion. A year later, it's 10 billion. So we can see there's just ridiculous increases there from USDT. Whether it is actually backed by the US dollar, 
and whether it's used ethically is another discussion for another video. The interest, uh, the interest in digital links to the dollar represent the need to transact and store value in the world's reserve currency without an intermediary. We can help, but we can't help but draw parallels to the ad adoption of paper currencies throughout history as the world today moves rapidly towards digitization. With the halving almost, uh, with the halving and almost half of 2020 behind us, we should not have to wait long to see if Bloomberg's forecasts come true. One thing I want to keep in mind, guys, is we went from pretty much around about 10,000 to about uh, the all-time highs. We went there within about. I don't believe exactly how many days it was, but it was about two to three weeks. So if we do see a massive price explosion, be ready, be on guard, because if we do see a price explosion, it most likely will be over the course of a few weeks. Um, I'm not saying it's going to happen in a few weeks uh, from now. I'm saying when it does happen, um, because inevitably, inevitably Bitcoin will retest this 20K mark. I'm more than 100% confident about this. Um, it will happen very quick and we will just be going straight up like this. So you need to have the, pre the, the practices and the techniques and kind of a mindset about what you're going to do and that happens in place before it actually does happen. So there's another article here. I won't keep you too much longer, guys. I hope you are enjoying this video. Grayscale reveals why it's buying so much Bitcoin. Grayscale Investments is seeing surging interest from hedge funds and other institutional investors for its cryptocurrency trusts. Here's why. So it basically goes on to say that hedge funds and other financial institutions have poured $1.7 billion dollars into Grayscale's investment Bitcoin and cryptocurrency funds. Um, the broker and custody has 3.8 billion in assets under management as of June, a significant jump from 2.1 billion in assets under management from May 2019. So they've pretty much added uh, well over a billion, nearly 2 billion in a year um, in assets under management. Um, it also says the trust has increased over 800% over the year from 3.2 million per week to 2019 to 30 million per week in 2020. Why the sudden surge of interest? So it says 2020 has been by far the year of macro instability and the unprecedented money, monetary stimulus and institutions are looking to alternative hedges to weather the incipient crisis. This has been a record year, a record quarter for us. Um, they've, they've basically saying they've never seen demand like this. And the reason that their assets under management is growing so much and why it's buying so much Bitcoin is just pretty much simply because of the demand. With everything going on right now in the world, a lot of people are looking for um, not necessarily to fully diversify their portfolio, but at least to have a few percent, um, at least in cryptocurrency or Bitcoin, just as an off chance, um, if they are a less risk averse investor, for the off chance that Bitcoin may go back to that 20,000, may see 100,000, 300,000 in the future. I personally think if these institutional investors or investors in general don't have at least 1% in their portfolio, then they will definitely be missing out in the future. So that is pretty much it for today, today's video, guys. As I said before, make sure to join the Telegram group. It's really new. I literally created it like 30 minutes ago. And there's people in there already chatting about crypto, talking about Bitcoin, about whatever you may want to talk about crypto. And, and it's a place where I can contact you guys as well after the video. After every single video I post, I'll be coming in here for around half an hour to an hour answering any questions you may have. So I can't wait to see you guys in the group and I'll catch you in the next video. Thank you.